Madam Speaker, today is a new day for California. The United States Supreme Court has just issued a landmark decision relating to homelessness and has taken the course of action uh, that I asked it to in an amicus brief that I organized on behalf of myself and several other representatives from California uh, and other Western states. This decision gives our communities back the power to regulate homelessness in a smart, common sense, and compassionate way. Right now, homelessness in California is a crisis. It is a tragedy. It is a national disgrace. Half of the unsheltered homeless in the entire country are in California. And the consequences of that throughout our state have been prof profound. The unchecked growth of homeless encampments is causing many of our communities to deteriorate. It's associated with crime, disease, open drug use, and many other problems. Businesses are closing in California seemingly every day because of this problem. You have families that have to walk around tents or dodge needles just walking their kids to school or going out to get groceries. And the problem has only continued to get worse and worse. It is rooted in many respects in an extremely misguided and unique across the country decision from the Ninth Circuit, uh, which covers California and some other states uh, in the West. This decision, known as uh, Martin v. Boise, tied the hands of states, cities, counties, local communities in being able to deal with homeless encampments. It effectively has made it impossible to ban camping in public places or to regulate encampments in our parks, streets, and sidewalks in a common sense way and limit the ability to set up tent encampments. This decision, again, came from the Ninth Circuit in California, covering all of California, and such a decision does not exist anywhere else in the country. Yet our communities have been subject to it for several years now. So today's decision from the U.S. Supreme Court finally looked at whether that local lower court decision in the Ninth Circuit was correct. And I wrote an amicus brief urging the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn the Boise decision. And that is precisely what the court did today. This is an incredibly significant moment for our state. It is restoring the power to local communities that, had ne have, that should never have been taken away. And it is a chance to truly turn things around. It presents an opportunity for a much better future in California. We can now reclaim our public spaces, restore order, reduce crime. We can make our communities safer and healthier. Our streets and sidewalks can become walkable and safe again. Businesses can return and local economies can flourish. Our parks can become places for recreation and can be safe and pleasant for kids and families. And maybe most important of all, we can get homeless individuals into shelters and connect them with the services that they need to get back on their feet and turn their life around. This is the true tragedy of the situation that has been allowed to exist and fester and get worse and worse in California, is that we have so many people living in our streets and all too tragically nearly every day dying on our streets, who have substance abuse problems, who have mental health issues, and yet because of the state of the law are not getting access to the help they need. These are folks that could live great, happy, fulfilling lives but because of the state of the law, they're stuck, living in terrible conditions, unable to turn their lives around. This decision also comes just one day after the California Secretary of State has certified for November a ballot initiative that would in large part uh, overturn and amend Proposition 47, which has also been linked to the rise of homelessness and crime in California. This initiative will restore appropriate consequences for repeat thieves 
It will enable us to get treatment for repeat drug offenders, and it will toughen penalties for fentanyl dealers and help us get that crisis under control. So these two things, the reversal of the Boise decision and the opportunity to reform Proposition 47, truly are a turning point for California. For those who look around and wonder every day what became of our beautiful state, today is a new day. Our state has been heading in the wrong direction for some time, but I believe this is a chance to move in a totally different direction. This is a chance to restore common sense and improve the quality of life for all Californians. This is a chance to make our communities a better place to live, work, raise a family, and retire. It's a chance to become the state that leads the nation in the right ways again. California has so much to offer, so much potential, so much possibility. And today, I am as hopeful for our state as I've been in a very long time.